All right, guys and girls, this is like way off the cuff. And again, every time I come and talk to the video camera, I've always had no sleep. So, cream cracker, chill day, and I thought I'd just let you guys know what is going on with uh, my new space that I've got. So, me and Mark Kerry Kins, she was in the album blog a little bit, and I just rewatched that recently. Oh my god, I forgot, I forgot how uh, mental that was and fun. It was a proper giggle. Um, but yeah, things have changed. I've got my own place. Um, I kitted out my recording studio. So what I wanted to do today was just whiz through my little setup and just show you some of the gear that I got because I'm not, I'm not a guitar um, enthusiast when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to owning all the nice guitars and stuff. I've got a clue? I just play them. <laughs> just play them. You know. In the album blog that I checked out last night on the old night shift, I was looking through and I promised the world because <laughs> I said I was going to do music videos so I think uh, I've got big plans, going to do this and that and this and I always let, when it comes to music, I always let everybody down because <laughs> other things get in the way, fishing gets in the way and I also quickly, just before we get onto the kit, another thing I wanted to say because I think it's quite important Everybody always says, Chris, you need to be gigging, you need to be out in bands, you need to be doing stuff, you need to be pushing yourself. One, right? And it's no, it's like, it's no offense to anybody, but I just want to put it out there. So, one, used to gig with Maria, Niall, Blakey, Joe, Jack, Sam was in there as well. You know, like, I had fun doing that, and, but realistically, where can you get musically? Um, without putting yourself online, if you really want to push it, you look at that. You look at that bloody TikTok guy. You know what I mean? Like it's a two-second video. Boom! There you go. Trillions of trillions of views. So, but for me, music is an escape anyway, and I just like to do it to forget about everything else going on. It's a hobby, and and I think sometimes if you put your hobby, if you try and monetize your hobby or you try and push it to a level where you're not just enjoying it learning new things playing new things chilling out then it's not enjoyable anymore so that's where i'm at just uh just so i let you know i'm a bedroom guitarist and i love it <laughs> and all i want to do is make lovely music so that's what i'm going to try and do so let's crack on sorry enough waffle three and a half minutes of waffle but I just thought I'd uh, let you know what's going on up there a little bit. So let's get into it. Boom. So guys, this is my super untidy space. <laughs> I picked up these tables. Start with the tables. Pick them up off of eBay. They're really cheap, but they're super sturdy. So uh, just check them out if if uh, you're looking for just easy like pop up tables. They come really quick as well. I've got all my plants on here. Look nice chill vibes I love the canvases of the animals I've got some boom I've got a fox and I've got one that's fallen off that I've got to redo <laughs> but uh chill vibes in here probably seen that guitar a few times I should think <laughs> I've got some other guitars to show you in a minute as well um, I've got a new one I've got some old ones <laughs> and uh, really want to show you them I'm running basic windows computer and what I'm running off of that is Pro Tools 10, which I also want to go into in a minute and show you some ideas um, that I've got for the future. So Pro Tools 10 on that, and I'm running that off a generic uh, Scarlet Int Face, Audio Int Face. And you might think, oh, well, he just he plugs his condenser mic in there and uh, he's good to go. But if we follow this lead in a minute, it's going to go somewhere else. And the reason for where the lead is going is look at all these corners in the room it's terrible it's so like uh, verby everywhere it bounces off all these awkward corners um, so yeah oh I've got a, got a harp there um, I might put some harp playing in a few uh, songs you never know chill vibes and if I don't use the harp I've got my Yamaha keyboard which will do do me like violins cellos there's also um, 
uh, Cakewalk is another one that I use alongside Pro Tools because in Pro Tools it's locked so I can't use VST instruments but I can use them on the free Cakewalk which is really brilliant. If you've got anything to record on like Pro Tools or Logic or anything like that, Cakewalk guys, that is free and it was I, I was amazed at how good it was. I haven't done any electric guitar videos but I've got a new electric that I've got to show you and I want to run through all the ideas that I've written down. These are all my songs, all my musical plans. So I'm going to go through that with you as well. So this could be a long video, but uh, it's the first time I've done one of these and I'm hoping that you just enjoy it. You know, I, it's nice to be able to just get me point across with <laughs> with things because I just chuck a random video up every couple of bloody years and you go, well, what's he doing? You know, I am always tinkering about and doing, doing uh, recordings and stuff. So yeah. Certain somebody might remember this one. Uh, lovely chap, Tony. Uh, he gave me a condenser mic when I was first starting out. And I just want to say, Tony, I appreciate everything you've done for me because that's probably my most expensive bit of kit in here. <laughs> so, and it is a beauty and it's still going to this day. And it's it just picks, picks up the sound absolutely perfect. So Tony first taught me how to play guitar as well. So I owe him a lot such a lovely guy and i appreciate everything you've done so <laughs> there you go thank you tony so that's that i've also got a line six um load of leads um luckily i know what all the knobs do on the line six so <laughs> that's good because the front panels come off of it <laughs> so that's uh that's all right and a spare microphone as well and a ton of demi johns um vanilla gorilla cider <laughs> six percent ciders out of there i haven't got any running at the minute but i might do some more ciders a little bit later but that's another story anyway as well <laughs> we're talking music guys so that's my basic setup let's follow the lead let's follow the lead around oh i've got some foam soundproofing guys got some foam soundproofing they come through here so let's open the magical door A little bit more. Boom. There we go. A soundproofed room. Technically. And this just completely deadens the sound. So there's the booth. I've got some violins, more guitars, my eight track up there. Loads of stuff there. Um, and I kitted out the sides with carpet as well. So you've got carpet. These are really grotty. They're just uh, side panels that I had left over. So I really want to sort them out. But I did get the, I've got the back nice. <laughs> anyway, that fitted all right. And then I've also got that one, which also curves around the condenser. So I'm doing my electric guitar videos. I'm going to be putting my amp in there with the microphone. It will deaden the sound. And then we can add um, different reverbs and all that at the end. And I've found I've definitely been getting clearer recordings the EP that I've been putting out so far, I've got two tracks out uh, before this video comes out. I've got Teasel and I've got Stepping Stones. Teasel was recorded within that booth. What I actually do is I butt the um, the clothes horse around me, around me there. And I could also run something off the top. I could put like a ledge out there so I could box myself in there <laughs> if I wanted to as well. Guitars wise, we'll just go through the guitars and then we'll get on the computer. And I'll just show you some of the ideas. So we got a lovely Manoush guitar from Rachel. Rachel sold this one to me. So hello, Rachel, as well. Um, I hope you're still playing. <laughs> um, there's the Manoush guitar. Really cool. And uh, I should probably do some more on that. I've got a sev I've got a Dean. I've got a Dean seven string, which is a bit of a beast, which you're going to be seeing in the one of the new. Um, EPs, electric EPs that I've got, it plays metal so well because it's got that low B string, really bassy. Dun -dun 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 -dun. So I've got that, um, that's going to be coming in handy. And notice Dean, I noticed Dean because I really liked the way that played, and I thought, you know, what? I'm going to give Dean guitars a go for my new guitar. So that's why I've got that. There's also a beautiful my favorite guitar ever a pacifica it's one of my first proper guitars in blue hence we've got another blue 
Pacifica. Oh, what a beauty. So that is my favorite guitar. And I've set him up really well. Look at how low those strings are. It plays so well. <laughs> Pop him back. Again, what we're talking about Tony here um, with the condenser microphone. And look what else he's look what else he's given me. <laughs> Jasmine guitar. So I wonder if he remembers this one. I'm still still using it and I use this one for all the backing guitar on the tracks um, and that one's seen me a few gigs I can tell you that it's got a really nice tone to it it's got a better tone to it than the guitar that I always use so that's beautiful for backing and then we're on to my new guitar my uh, Dean MD24 it's called it's got the floating trem dive bombs um, it's playing beautiful at the minute. It's set up on nines, gauge nine strings. I wanted something that was like just super basic, um, nothing fancy on it, and you could just concentrate on the playing. So I feel as though I can make that my own, that guitar. So that's enough chat of all of my stuff. Let's get on to uh, some of the ideas I've got. So guys, seriously off the cuff, I've got the uh, guitar plugged in. Uh, being an absolute perfectionist as well, this is terrible to me, absolutely terrible. But because uh, I haven't, I haven't got the riff down. But there's a riff that I want to show you. And if we go into the into the magic book of notes, I've got things to do. For, uh, this new EP, which is called Strange Planet. <laughs> and you'll notice here look we've got teasel and we've got three songs the third song I'm working on all the backing tracks done that's nearly finished I've got another one that I want to do called clean freaks I've got um, three ideas I've got the three ideas down they just need expanded on the reason it's called clean freaks it's gonna be electric guitar but it's all going to be clean so it's going to be really precise and there's going to be loads of bends and a whirly this in it so there's some mad tracks on clean freaks but the one that's going to be after teasel is strange planet and the first track i want to call it like crash landing or something and you'll hear why in a minute so i'm going to load the track up on here and then i'm going to show you the riff so there's a lot of tracks here let's just play it enough waffle Orchestral intro. Spacey vibes. We're just building. We're building and building. There's gonna be some gentle guitar over that. I'm gonna skip it a little bit. I really like this bit, um, because it goes it goes pretty heavy, but you've got some orchestral and some uh, acoustic guitar in there as well. So you get the idea there, <laughs> just a little snapshot, not mixed down, I've got Jack coming around um, in a couple of days time, we're going to mix it down, we've got to re-record the electric um, chugging bits because they're a bit too loud, the intro is a little bit too quiet, the drums on it, uh, on my keyboard, so Jack is going to send me over the drum stems from his uh, electric kit, so there's going to be electric drums on there. And then I'm gonna and now I'm gonna try and play through this riff. So this whole song started from uh, something that I used to play that Jack used to really love, which is have you ever seen the film Goonies? It goes
that's it. That's the only thing. And through that, I got a tapping arpeggio that goes. Something along those lines. So that's where I'm at. I can't tap very well. I've been, I've been years playing my bloody acoustic guitar, but here's the whole riff. I'm gonna fluff it. There's gonna be bum notes. It's gonna be horrible, but this is what I've got to practice. And this is just a little idea that I'm showing you of the new EP. Serious work required. Can't believe I'm even putting that out or showing you, but um, I did have it down and then uh, I forgot it for a few weeks. <laughs> so now I've got to relearn it. No. You get the general gist. It will be absolutely perfect by the time it comes to playing it. So there's one of the ideas. There is another song um, within the Strange Planet that I've got down uh, that I kind of want to show you as well. Just a little snapshot. So once you've crash landed on the Strange Planet, you find yourself some refuge in a cave. <laughs> where does this? Where does it all come from? This one's called. Cool. And in that cave, there's a there's a cave in Mexico. It's full of uh, amethysts and crystals and stuff. Check out the pictures. Just type in Mexico Crystal Cave. Oh my God, it's amazing. But there's one on this strange planet as well, full of amethysts. So <laughs> uh, that's where you are. There are some cave noises there. I need to bring them in a bit. Got to relearn that. Skip forward a little bit. Weird time signature. Need some tapping to come into this bit. I'm giving away the crescendo. sophisticated than that I can tell you that that's just uh, that's me cold <laughs> so there's a few ideas for strange planet we're getting through it you know I want I just want to now I just want to show you a few from clean freaks and then I think we're done then I need to actually just
start practicing and get some recording on the go. Nice. I'm really glad I did this. I feel as though I've like managed to tell you everything that's going on rather than just in a bloody Facebook post or not at all. <laughs> so yeah, I might do a few more of these, but there's one more. Um, there was two more ideas that I'm really excited about. They're going to be way in the future because I've got to get Strange Planet done. Um, and I've even got more ideas for that thing as well. And I need some serious practice on it. And I need some serious practice on this, which is Clean Freaks. I've got three songs there. There's one called Balcon Boogie. Um, kind of goes like that. Pick a pick. I'll play it slower. Oh my god, too bloody cold. <laughs> Serious picking with that one. The one I'm really excited about is the title track, Clean Freaks. Complete opposite, but everything's got to be clean, so all the picking has got to be like bang on with it. And I'll just show you the Clean Freaks uh, idea, which would be the title track. get there. So there you go guys, I'm just editing it down. I can't believe this, this is the first video I've done on my phone and with my Windows video editor. Normally I use Premiere Pro and a camera and I've managed to get the cuts really well. And I've noticed I cannot cut that great in that. So there's tons of waffle, and I'm so sorry. But uh, it was really nice just to chat with you for the afternoon, show you my setup, all the plans to come. Um, and I'm just gonna turn them out as and when, just, just enjoy it. Uh, but I, looking back at those uh, videos, I need some bloody practice, I can tell you that. So, gotta pull my finger out. Um, and with them, I'm showing you riffs and all. I can just picture it in my head. I know exactly going on like I can I can see it so uh, I really hope you're gonna enjoy I think that's coming up um, till next time guys stay uh, I'm gonna play you out with the last track that I'm working on a teaser EP that I keep banging on about this is the third and final track of that I'm gonna upload them all in a one with the artwork we'll do a little making of and I'm gonna go through the tracks once they're all up on the channel and then we are starting with the